Got something a little bit different for you today. If you've ever been to Katanning, there's probably two things that really stick out to you. I know they stuck out to me the first time I was here. Number one is the courthouse, and number two is our beautiful Katanning Citizens Bridge. But a lot of people don't know the history of this bridge, even people that have lived here their whole lives. And so uh, I just want to tell uh, the little story of the history of the Katanning Citizens Bridge. In fact, do you remember the time it was completely destroyed? No, not that time. That was a movie. I'm talking about the time it was really destroyed. Roll the intro. You see, 200 years ago, there was no way to get across the river. Uh, you, had to, you had to go by boat, or later on, there was a ferry system that went across back and forth, and you had to uh, pay the ferry operator to get you from one side to the other. And eventually, as the population increased, that just, uh, that just wasn't sufficient anymore. So in 1838, the Catanning Bridge Company was formed, and they began to sell stock to raise funds uh, for a toll bridge. It took them 17 years to build that first bridge. 17 years, can you imagine, to raise the money to build uh, the very first bridge uh, crossing the Allegheny River in Catanning. And so after they had raised the last of the money in 1855, they began construction of the first bridge in Catanning. It had concrete columns like we're used to today, although probably much smaller, and it was a wooden bridge. And what's really crazy is what happened next. That bridge was finally completed in March of 1856, and on April 12th of 1856, a tornado came over the hill in West Catanning and destroyed that first wooden bridge. So after 17 years of raising money, 17 years of preparation, it was up for one month and was completely destroyed by a tornado in western Pennsylvania. <laughs> That's just crazy to me. One year later, they had raised enough money to build a new bridge uh, through more preferred stock. The next bridge, also wooden, actually survived until 1874 uh, when it was taken down on purpose this time. It was replaced with a five-span bridge, uh, which was made of steel and it's uh, actually the bridge that we're used to seeing in a lot of the old-time pictures of Catanning, uh, the ones that were hand-drawn of the city, uh, the, those beautiful old pictures. And so that uh, bridge actually existed uh, right here behind me, right near the, the current uh, Catanning Citizens Bridge. That bridge was dismantled when it was decided that it wasn't high enough, and so they uh, took that bridge down, and in 1932, our current beautiful Catanning Citizens Bridge was built and completed. This amazing and beautiful structure is over 900 feet long and has served us well for the last 86 years. Hopefully many, many more to come. So when you visit Catanning for the Folk Festival this week and you see this beautiful bridge, uh, just be reminded, be thankful. There's a lot of money, there's a lot of blood and sweat and tears that went into this bridge. There's a lot of history here and so uh, be thankful that we have uh, such a beautiful piece, such a functional piece in our great little city. As for the bridge that was destroyed in the Mothman prophecies, uh, that was a real bridge. It just wasn't this one. It was the Silver Bridge in Point Pleasant, West Virginia. That's your fun fact of the day. That's your little history lesson for the day for Catanning. Uh, share this with someone who doesn't know uh, the history of this bridge. I know this is interesting information to me. Hope you found it interesting. If you have some other things that you'd like to know the history about in Catanning, uh, please leave them in the comments. Uh, leave a like on this video. And don't forget to subscribe on this channel. There's a lot more to come, Catanning. Have a blessed day, and I'll see you in the next one.